Doc Talk is brought to you by Multimin USA, manufacturers of Multimin 90, Sure Trace Mineral Supplementation by Timed Injection. Hi there, welcome to Doc Talk. I'm Dr. Dan Thompson here from the College of Veterinary Medicine at Kansas State University. Really glad that you joined us today. We're going to have an excellent show. Dr. Dave Rethorst, who is the Director of Outreach here at the Beef Cattle Institute, is going to join us today and we're going to talk about parasite control in the cow herd. It's going to be a great show. Stay tuned. All the advice I'd give anybody on using Multiman 90 compared to any loose mineral or any other mineral that's out there on the market is Multiman 90, you'll see a result. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. You're going to notice within about the first 7 to 14 days that their hair is going to start shining. You're going to notice that their noses will stay wetter. They're going to feel better. You'll notice a little glow to their eye. You, you can just tell. Their appetites are better. It's just it's a simple fact. It works. Closed caption brought to you by AgriLabs, the perfect pairing of performance and value. This segment is brought to you by Purple Wave Auction, the easiest, most straightforward way to sell used equipment. Purple Wave, straight, simple, sold. Welcome to the show. Glad to be here, Dan. Well, folks, Dr. Rethorse is our guest today, and we're going to talk about parasites in the cow herd. Dr. Rethorse has over 30 years of practical experience in veterinary medicine practice in southern Nebraska and western Kansas, and uh, has joined our staff at Kansas State University's College of Veterinary Medicine as the director of outreach for the Beef Cattle Institute, and we're just tickled to death not only to have him on the show, but we're proud to have him back in Wildcat land and, and here at the veterinary school. Well, it, it's good to be here. It, it's just time to do something different. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to start out by sharing some of your knowledge on parasites and deworming these cows. Okay, very good. Uh, start off by defining the issues. Uh, in the calves, we're interested primarily in internal parasite control. Uh, number one reason for that is we'll have an effect on weaning weight if we've got a heavy internal parasite load. Number two thing is we'll affect our post weaning performance. Weight gain uh, is critical post weaning, but also if we don't get these calves weaned or dewormed ahead of weaning, we'll see some immune system dysfunction, we'll have more respiratory disease, we'll have more coccidiosis. So I always like to incorporate the initial worming in our pre-wean vaccination program. Uh, as far as the external parasites are concerned, uh, usually don't worry about that until post-weaning on the calves because if we've got everything in control in the cow herd the way we should, we just don't see the lice issues, et cetera, ahead of weaning in these calves. So when, so when you're, so basically we're worried about the internals and these baby calves out there on the pasture. That's correct. And, and performance and immune system and they all kind of go hand in hand. Let's jump into those young heifers or, or the next phase or next group, young cows, heifers and that type. Okay. Uh, on the, the yearling heifers and our two and three year old cows, we're interested in the externals, but we're also still pretty interested in the internals because those young cows, their immune system isn't functioning yet to help in the parasite control. As those females get older, the immune system will gear up and will actually reduce our worm load. So, so the older it, cows then, you're more concerned yeah, the older cows, we deworm them, but we're not as concerned there with the internals as we are with the externals. So if we get the externals under control in the cows and deworm them once a year, we're usually in good shape. Well, I think when we come back, let's talk, we'll talk about some of the products, about controlling internal parasites, external parasites, such as lice and, and things, and, and more of our roundworms and, and and nematodes and different things to that nature. It's a great segment, folks. Cow deworming and parasite control is imperative to your operation and productivity, and we'll be back right after the break. This segment was brought to you by Brute Cattle Equipment, makers of the Brute Stealth Hydraulic Chute. If the chute fits, swear by it. Visit our website for more information. Dr. Dan here. 
Whether I'm driving up and down the roads covering the state of Kansas, or I'm getting between Riley and Manhattan for my job, I'm driving a Ford truck. I'd like you to come out and visit my friends here at Dick Edwards Ford. They have a truck that'll suit your needs. Whether you're looking for power with a Power Stroke diesel, or if you're looking for fuel efficiency with the new EcoBoost engine, they got a truck that's just right for you. They're located two miles east of the Town Center Mall in Manhattan, Kansas, and they'll bend over backwards to help you. And I'll see you down the road. Beef producers need a practical choice when antibiotic therapy is required. More than ever, they are reaching for non-prescription Noramycin 300 LA from Norbrook. Specially formulated to produce sustained antibiotic blood levels up to four days in cattle, Noramycin 300 LA delivers economic, broad-spectrum disease management for pneumonia, shipping fever, pink eye, wound infections, and foot rot. See for yourself why Norbrook's Noramycin 300 LA is the practical choice for your herd. Got cattle? Rotomix manufactures a complete line of energy efficient rotary and vertical feed mixers for feedlots, beef production, dairy, and cow calf operations. Our mixers are available with the patented Generation 2 Staggered Rotor, the industry standard for feeding wet rations that include wet distiller's grain. Made in the USA, Rotomix mixers are designed for feeding performance that American cattlemen and dairy producers have come to expect. Rotomix, proud to offer a better mix in less time using less fuel. American innovation is being driven in places you might not expect by people like Brent Hayek, an Oklahoma family farmer who recently set a world land speed record in a Ford Super Duty pickup truck powered by renewable B20 biodiesel. Advanced performance is here now, putting America on the fast track to more jobs and energy independence. Biodiesel, America's advanced biofuel. Valley Vet Supply is devoted to providing information and professional quality products at reasonable prices. This segment is brought to you by Norbrook Laboratories, manufacturers of Normycin LA, Normectrum Plus, 1% and Poron, the practical choice for your herd. Hi there folks and welcome back to Doc Talk. Dr. Dan Thompson here from the College of Veterinary Medicine at Kansas State University and I'm joined by Dr. David Drethorst who is the Director of Outreach for the Beef Cattle Institute here at Kansas State University's College of Veterinary Medicine. And Dr. Dave, today we are talking about deworming the beef cow or deworming <laughs> in the cow herd. And so. so we talked about the difference between internal parasites and external parasites as we look at, you know, whether we're worried about baby calves or if we're worried about young heifer, replacement heifers and then, then the cows. And now we're going to jump into some of the different products. And of course, the one that jumps out and everybody knows about are the avermectins or the ivermectin type products. Right. You know, and, and we have several different compounds or several different labels in the avermectin family. We've got the Dectamax and the Ivamectin, and the Cydectin, uh, new injectable avermectin due out this spring in, in the long range Epronex and, and then of course you've got the generics uh, on the ivermectin side. Uh, Lots of different products, similar type compounds. Right. Um, within within those. Right, and, and the difference becomes whether we're talking about the injectable or whether we're talking about the poron forms of, of these compounds. With the injectables, they do a great job on the internal parasites, but not so great on the external parasites, particularly the lice, because we've got two different kinds of lice. Right. The injectable products will get the sucking lice because the sucking lice take a blood meal. They don't do a great job on the biting lice because the biting lice feed on the debris on the skin. So it's just hard to get that injectable product to get up in the skin. And, so and when we're looking at lice issues in general, we're probably going to go with some sort of pour on or um, correct. product. Right. Uh, if, if you look at the pour on avermectins, uh, they do a great job on the external parasites because they're up on the skin and when you put it on the skin, it, it holds that, that product there and, and will get the biting as well as the sucking lice. Uh, the problem then becomes that 
those pore arms aren't absorbed completely or adequately to do a real great job on the internal parasites. And I think that's been documented on, on some different cases, um, you know, that, that, that maybe there might be a better control of internal with the injectable versus the, the porons, but, but still you can get some internal control with those porons. Right, right. If we go back and, and we talk about the mature cow, we have some immune system function there that helps with the internal control. Sure. That's why we can get by with the poron on the mature cow. And the longer that they're exposed to the same parasites, the more natural immune response to those you're going to see. Right, right. Well, I think that's been a great segue um, into our break. Okay. And we'll take another break and we'll come back and have some more discussion on this. Sounds good. We appreciate you watching Doc Talk. We're talking about controlling parasites in the cow herd with Dr. David Breathhorse. We'll be right back after the break. This tip brought to you by Batrol 100 Enrofloxacin Injectable, now approved for use in controlling BRD in high-risk cattle. Batrol 100, right the first time, whether it's controlling BRD in high-risk cattle or treating BRD. Hi there, I'm Dr. Dan Thompson. Welcome to Bears Farm Animal Health Tip today. We're going to talk about preventing calf scours in baby calves. And the big thing about the two main points of preventing calf scours in baby calves is the immune system of the calf through colostrum and the environment in which that calf lives in. And there's two reasons for the environment. One is to decrease the amount of pathogens present and number two is to make sure we give those animals a nice warm place to lay down. Colostrum is important. As soon as that calf can consume colostrum and definitely within the first 12 hours, we want to make sure that calf gets up, sucks, and has a good intake of colostrum. For the environment, we're talking about keeping the areas dry, providing bedding, making sure that we change that bedding, and we have a place where that animal has an opportunity for its immune system to do well when we're trying to fight off disease. Two big things for calf scour prevention, colostrum intake, environment. I'm Dr. Dan, thanks for joining me. Hi, I'm Kevin Ochsner, host of NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen and Colorado Rancher. Join me each week as the National Cattlemen's Beef Association brings you the latest updates in industry information and market news. Plus each week we provide important educational information and features on cattlemen from across the country just like you. And we can't forget our favorite cowboy poet, Paxter Black. Join me for NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen, debuting Tuesday nights at 8.30 Eastern, right here on RFD TV. Got cattle? Rotomix manufactures a complete line of energy efficient rotary and vertical feed mixers for feedlots, beef production, dairy, and cow calf operations. Our mixers are available with the patented Generation 2 Staggered Rotor, the industry standard for feeding wet rations that include wet distiller's grain. Made in the USA, Rotomix mixers are designed for feeding performance that American cattlemen and dairy producers have come to expect. Rotomix, proud to offer a better mix in less time using less fuel. Getting ready to work cattle for pre-breeding and calf vaccinations? There's no better time to use a safe, modified live virus vaccine to prevent BRD. Titanium provides the correct equation for BRD with its excellent safety profile and a strong response and long duration of immunity. Ask your veterinarian about modified live virus vaccines and the eight convenient combinations of titanium for the perfect pairing of performance and value. Valley Vet Supply is devoted to providing information and professional quality products at reasonable prices. This segment is brought to you by Lalaman Animal Nutrition, dedicated to the development and production of natural and differential solutions for animal nutrition and by the Graham School for Cattlemen with over 100 years of continuous service to the cattle industry. To find out more, visit us online at grahamschool.com. Hi there, welcome back to Doc Talk. Dr. Dan Thompson here from the College of Veterinary Medicine with my friend and colleague, Dr. Dave Rethorse, who is the Director of Outreach for the Beef Cattle Institute at Kansas State University's College of Veterinary Medicine. We're glad to have him back in Power Cat land and, and we're talking about controlling parasites in the cow herd and we left talking about the avermectin products right but now we're going to talk about some of the white dewormers or the, right. the fin bendazoles and, and things to that nature 
Okay, the the white wormers, we you know, there's several of them out there: Safeguard, Panicure, Valbazin, Synanthic, but they're great short-acting wormers. They'll do a great job on the internal parasites, but they have no external parasite control. And the reason why we call them white dewormers is because they come in a white paste right. or something that we give orally to the cattle versus injectably or topically with the avermectins. Right. So we can use these as an oral drench. Uh, on the fenbendazole, there's non-handling forms available, whether it be through range cubes, mineral, added to ration, fed with a feed truck, something like this. Uh, Used to use a lot of these products when we had organophosphates available to take care of the external parasites, but we don't have those anymore. So the main place I use these benzometazoles anymore is in the strategic deworming programs in the spring of the year where we deworm the cows after they've been on grass for 30 days, and we can do that without having to put the cows back through the chute. We do it through like. a cube or right. through through right. What about the externals, external parasites? Specifically, we're, we're talking about the, the lice. Okay, the lice, you know, we talked about with the poron, avermectins, we can get a good job there. If we're not wanting to use an avermectin, we've got the pyrethrins or the synthetic pyrethroids that we can use along with our injectable avermectins or use alone to take care of the lice and the flies. And the big time to use those is the winter, right? Yeah, winter and, and early spring if you've got a problem. I can see, I can still remember seeing calves, you know, scratching on the fence posts and, and rubbing on fences and pipe and cable and patches of hair and, and those types of things. It doesn't take you too long to figure out if you got a lice that's, issue. That's right, they'll, they'll tell you right away if there's a problem. And so what about the, on, on the externals? You know, I guess it depends on where you're located geographically, because we have people watching this all over all the place. But, but um, you know, just coming into winter and then waiting until you have good cloud break and, and warm weather in the spring, is that when we're looking at? Well, I usually try to, to be ahead of that some, uh, you know, where I practiced in southern Nebraska and, and, and northern Kansas, we tried to get louse control going into the fall and then if need be we would use a, a lice product ahead of calving on the cows so we had the lice beat down and then we didn't have to worry about it going into grass. It's awesome. When we come back we'll talk a little bit more about strategy and parasite control on the cow herd. You're watching Doc Talk. We're sure glad you joined us and we're going to see you here after the break. This segment is brought to you by the Beef Quality Assurance Program and the Kansas Beef Council, improving animal care and beef safety for more than 20 years. A few of us had the opportunity to attend the Southern Plains Drought Summit in Pratt, Kansas, and meet up with a few of the presenters, one of which was Keith Harmony, a range scientist with the Ag Research Center in Hayes, Kansas. Harmony informs producers that during a drought, the quality of grass is more important than the quantity, which would lead to a lower performance rate. During drought years, as long as they have enough forage, they should have good performance. It's when our cattle run out of forage, if they are having to graze on prior year's residual forage, you know, that's old dormant grass that is of lower quality, uh, then they probably could have lower animal performance. With Ag AM in Kansas, I'm Devin Stewart. Cow-calf, stalker, and feedlot producers know that effective parasite control improves overall herd performance and profitability. Norbrook offers a comprehensive economical line of poron and injectable parasiticides for every livestock operation. Consult with your local animal health supplier to set up a program that protects your investment and brings larger cattle checks this fall. See for yourself why the Noromectin line from Norbrook is the practical choice for your herd. The Kansas State University College of Veterinary Medicine is a leader in food animal research and education. Our researchers are constantly expanding the knowledge of animal health and food safety. Through the Veterinary Health Center and the Kansas State Veterinary Diagnostic Lab, we provide practical services for animal producers. 
Home of the Beef Cattle Institute, the college is committed to animal welfare training and research. The Kansas State University College of Veterinary Medicine, knowledge and service for the future of animal production. Getting ready to work cattle for pre-breeding and calf vaccinations? There's no better time to use a safe, modified live virus vaccine to prevent BRD. Titanium provides the correct equation for BRD with its excellent safety profile and a strong response and long duration of immunity. Ask your veterinarian about modified live virus vaccines and the eight convenient combinations of titanium for the perfect pairing of performance and value. This segment is brought to you by Rotomix, manufactured in the USA and designed for feeding performance in the feedlots, beef production, dairy, and cow-calf operations. Hi there folks, welcome back to Doc Talk. Dr. Dan Thompson here with Dr. Dave Rethorse. We're both from the College of Veterinary Medicine at Kansas State University and we're talking about controlling parasites in the cow herd. Now, Dr. Dave, we've talked about the, the internal parasites, external parasites. We've talked about avermectins, white dewormers, uh, porons, oh, everything. Now let's kind of tie it together. When and what are you going to recommend? And first, let's clarify, we want you to work with your local veterinarian and get a recommendation. These are just some things that, that Dr. Dave and I have, have put together and Dr. Dave specifically in his years of practice and, and research. But uh, go ahead, Dave. Okay, well, my comments will be geared primarily towards Kansas and Nebraska because that's what I know. And in the examples, I'm going to be talking primarily about spring calving cows because that's what the majority right. of our cows are anymore. But, you know, we'll start off with that baby calf in the spring. Uh, if we've got a good internal program in the cows, we might not have to deworm that baby right away, but I've got several producers that rather, if they're running the natural program, they'll use an injectable avermectin rather than implant and they feel they're getting a comparable kick there and fit into these natural programs. Typically what I did was, again, I tried to get my first dewormer into those calves when we do our pre-wean vaccination program on the ranch because I think we just get better immune system function and we don't have to worry so much about coccidiosis control. If we do that ahead of time and we can do that with an injectable avermectin because we've got a 30-day duration of activity on those products and we don't have to worry about them getting reinfested. If we don't do it pre-wean, jump in there at weaning and and do it then uh, but do like the injectables on those calves or use a white wormer and a pyrethrin depending on your preference there's some work out there that shows a combination of the white wormers with an avermectin is good as far as feedlot performance on these calves what about our what about our cows uh cows Depends on how many times a year you want to deworm. If you're going to deworm a cow once a year, you want to do it in the fall and probably use an avermectin poron because we get good lice control and we don't have to worry as much about building resistance on those internal parasites by doing it in the fall. Uh, again, you can use the other products, but cleanest, simplest on the mature cows is, is the pour on, and then we've got to think about our, our young stock. You might do a combination. Day. Some people use combinations on those cows in the fall. Right, and, and that'd be a good place on those young cows to do the combination. Uh, the other thing is our strategic deworming. We can do that in the spring. Uh, if necessary, do it out on grass and, and clean those cows up and uh, have calves cleaner going into fall. Thanks for being here today. It's been great, a pleasure. Great information. Thank you for watching. Remember, always work with your local veterinarian. And if you want to know more about what Dr. Dave and I do here at the College of Veterinary Medicine, you can find us on the web at www.vet.ksu.edu. I'm Dr. Dan Thompson. You've joined us here for Doc Talk this morning. I'm sure glad you joined us, and I'll see you down the road. Closed caption brought to you by AgriLabs, the perfect pairing of performance and value. Doc Talk, produced in cooperation with Drovers Cattle Network and Bovine Veterinarian.
For more information about this program or previous programs, go to DocTalkTV.com. Doc Talk was brought to you by Multimin USA, manufacturers of Multimin 90, sure trace mineral supplementation by timed injection. We were having uh, some conception problems with the cattle, so our local vet came and uh, we took some blood samples and found that some of the donor and recipient females were significantly low in terms of uh, selenium and copper. With the use of Multimin, we were able to increase those levels back to a normal level. We've seen a significant increase in our pregnancy rates on our recipient cattle.